blast your door right. What? Stop! Not another stepper out. Wait. It's you. You're the one who tried to free me on the ship. At least you made the effort. Suddenly, you see what she sees, feel what she feels. Confusion, resolve, and a hint of gratitude. Ah! Did you feel that? You've got the same thing I do, in your head. Yes, and they put a tadpole in my eye, too. I assume that's what caused our minds to... cross. But that's the least of our problems. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. I can handle myself. But you're right. Time to try something else. I'm going to see what's at the top of this cliff. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. For now, but I'd rather get out of here than keep testing my metal against these things. Or just company for our final moments. But you're right, whatever lies ahead will be a little less daunting with support. You can call me Shadowheart. Don't mistake blood for kinship. Lead the way. What are they doing over there? Chasing bird? Goblins ahead. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck shite. Let's try to be diplomatic, shall we? Goblins don't come by the handfuls, but by the dozens. As the symbol glows, Power courses through you. Authority. She's a little overexcited. Been a busy day. Lads are celebrating. Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. The pits? He couldn't be somewhere pleasant sounding, could he? Better still be alive. Ha! 
depends who you are. We're celebrating a raid. No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. Rip the guts out of Joaquin's rest, we did. Inns are good for gutting. Lads even captured some Duke. Worth celebrating, that is. Next time, Grib will be on guard duty. Right, boss? These big dopes could guard the place themselves. Let us up to yours. You seemed quite forward with your compliments earlier. We'd only just met. Seize the day, I say. More now than ever. Careful you don't pull a muscle in your waist. Sounds like they've captured themselves a bard. Amid all this grandeur sunk into squalor, I wonder what dismal corner we'll find Halcyon in. Party serving of druid stew wouldn't do us any good. No. Let's hope for the best and keep this in mind. Prisoners are treated the same by everyone. We serve as serfs, or they waste away in a dungeon. If he's still alive, it stands to reason we'll find Halcyn in either one of these less than appealing conditions. Well, more than appealing conditions come to think of it when one considers the stew alternative. Saluna. This room must have been dedicated to her. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Saluna's a bad omen. Just look what's befallen her temple. Though, I'll grant it must have been impressive once, in all its profane glory. I wonder what happened. No matter. I'll breathe easier once we're clear of this place. We don't have time for this. Besides, I already explained myself. You're not going to let this go, are you? You might wish you had. I worship Shah, the Mistress of the Night. It is my holy mission to oppose Saluna, her teachings and her followers. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. Oh, no. just having a bit of fun.
I trust you celebrated most heartily. Curious. I wonder if the tadpole shares in your suffering the morning after. I did. And it's high time we talked about your problem. There's some cause for hope, but it's... complicated. Some form of magic is arresting the Ceramorphosis process, while still granting you certain benefits. Your ability to read each other's thoughts, for instance. I've seen an affliction such as yours up close, before my capture. A drow forced me to defend myself. Afterwards, I was able to study the parasite that slithered out of the corpse, see what drives these true souls. I had no idea anyone beyond their ranks was infected. You have my sincere sympathies. I could, but I'd be cutting it out of a corpse. We'll have to try a different approach. Magic such as this doesn't arise naturally. Someone is pulling the strings, someone of great power. If you wish to cure your infection, you must find them. These absolute wretches are rallied at Moonrise Towers, farther along the Chiontha. Whoever is behind this magic must be there. You must go there. The journey will be perilous, but it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I won't be held accountable just because you're naive enough to expect easy answers. Now, allow me to continue. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings. Tormented. Dangerous souls. Nature speaks to me. Birds report what they've seen. And I've overheard goblins speaking of it too. Moonrise is at the heart of all this, I'm sure of it. You could go overland, along the risen road or cutting through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel leading from the Temple of Saluna right down into the Underdark and beyond. The entrance is hidden somewhere in the Temple ruins. Aradin and his lot thought they'd find fortune down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm managed to rally a whole army of Dark Justices in a secret stronghold deep in the Underdark. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. From there, his forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers in secret. But Ketherick was defeated before he could launch an attack from the Underdark. Ketherick took his secrets with him to the grave. You'd need a veritable underground city to conceal the force he mustered. Yet none has ever been found. If you find it, I'll wager it'll reveal a route all the way to Moonrise Towers, bypassing the worst of the Shadow Curse. The decision is yours, but I'd favor the Underdark. Even a place like that is the lesser evil compared to the Shadow-Cursed Lands. You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off, 
Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. Unfinished business. It seems our fates have aligned. I've chosen a successor as First Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Wrath has promise, but he has a ways to go yet. He wasn't able to stop Korga by himself. The Grove needs experience and a strong hand. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Something's wrong. I feel... I feel... What the... Darkness, protect me. I don't know. I'm fine. It's past whatever it was. And stop looking at me like that. I'm not sprouting tentacles just yet. I said I don't know. Forget it. Uncertainty. Fear. Shadowheart genuinely doesn't know what just happened, but she's afraid of it. Thank you. But I'm sure it was nothing. I just need a little space. Thing. It has to open, surely. It has to do something. Shadowheart's attention is consumed by a strange box that she turns over in her hands. It bears engravings resembling Githyanki scripture. In an instant, Shadowheart hides the box from view. Keep out of it. I said, keep out of it. 
In fact, forget it entirely. A bold statement, if not an accurate one. Leave me be. Something the matter? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. I... I don't know. Something to do with the tadpole, who's to say? Another mystery to add to the pile. We don't know how this works, not really. Maybe it varies a little, person to person. Don't worry. It won't matter once we find a cure. And if we don't find one, well, we'll be past our worries then. Very. It wanted to lash out at you. Luckily, I was there to stop it and save your life. Anything else? Something the matter? I don't know what you mean. It's nothing, really. Fine, I'll tell you, so long as it spares me your ham-fisted threats. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It is my holy mission to oppose Saluna, her teachings and her followers. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. A lie of omission at most. I'm sure you have some skeletons of your own hidden away. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though, perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. All right. As I said, Shah is my patron, my mistress. Goddess of darkness and loss. I assume you've heard of her? My Lady Shah is the Night Singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness, they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain. Hope. The promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, 
Topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. Perhaps you'll turn out to be a worthy companion after all. Shah's blessings upon you. If you must. I don't really have anything more to say. No. Whatever it is, it is certainly not that. Was there something else? I told you already. It's none of your concern. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. I don't have to explain myself to you. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah, mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act, pain. Hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. You're wiser than most. Many people balk at our doctrine. It's the reason why we cherish secrecy. You surprise me. And not in a negative sense, I must admit. Perhaps, once we've saved ourselves from the tadpoles, we can talk more on this. 